Copyright. <laughs> we are filming a carpool motherfucking GoPro motherfucking Gary Oki motherfuckers. Bitch, yeah, the setup is everywhere. The way is shaking. <laughs> are you gonna have to like stabilize it later? No. It has stabilizer, so hopefully it's oh, good. Oh, that's sick. It's good. Oh, wait, What's first of idea? all, send me the fucking address. <laughs> Do you know where we're going? No. no. <laughs> I had a literal idea for this video, Grace. Ooh, Are you ready? Tell me. I'm ready. We're gonna talk about our... Since it's October, we have to be a little scary, may we? We are gonna talk about our scariest date stories. Like the most horrible, scariest nastiest, date ugly fucking dates that we've had ever. Oh, I'm ready. Here's the address. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Here, one hour we have 44. A, we have a drive, yeah. We have a drive. We have a drive ahead of us. I have one braid not done. Literally. <laughs> but Gracie, do you want to start or should I start? Ooh. Um, let me rack my brain first. I was okay. actually just watching the first carpool we did, you, me, and Rachel. And it's so fucking funny. I was actually laughing out loud. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. LOL. You were really laughing out loud. I'm sweating. <laughs> I know, it's fucking hot. Do you have, do you have a seat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, I did think of one. Ooh, this is like a me. horror story. Tell us, tell us. This was insane. Tell us, mama. So basically, <laughs> it's about to get. I already have no voice. It's gonna get worse. It's gonna be like straight <laughs> up, nothing left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Uh, um, basically, I went out with this guy a couple times, and <laughs> he seemed like <laughs> super, just like normal, like he was sweet, like a little like quiet, a little shy, like a little sweet boy, and I was shy like, game. Oh, 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 oh. So what happens next was completely out of fucking left field. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting our inner YouTubers out. Yeah, we are. Basically, I went out with him. I think we only hung out like three times, and like we nothing really ever happened much. Like we kissed it, and he was like terrible at it, like so bad. <laughs> I remember thinking like, oh god, I did not like that at no. all. It was all just like everything was very like. No. Like, Literally jabbing no. me with his tongue. No, no. And then I ended up getting a message on Instagram from this girl. Stop it. Who was his girlfriend? No. He had a girlfriend that no. entire time. And she said to me, she was like, this isn't the first time he's done this. Oh. And I was like, why are you still with? Like, why are you still with so him, much girl? Better. No. And she was like, we live together. They lived together. How the fuck did I not like it was oh. insane and he was literally like so nice. So show. like you never know. That goes to show Grace and Grace doesn't go back to your place on the first dates, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> literally, that's how you didn't notice. That's how I that's how you that's how I didn't know. And what? <laughs> <laughs> that's how I, that's how you that's how you She's a prude. <laughs> She's a fucking I am a little bit of a um, yeah, it was. Oh, oh okay. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was just crazy. And then she was like asking me. She was like, "Have you guys like did you did you like have sex?" sex? And I was like, "Like no, like no no no." And she oh. was like, "Well, good because like he has some diseases no, that like he has no, been no. spreading around to people, and I'm pretty sure he gave me something. It was just it was oh. horrible. This poor girl, and she was like could not have been sweeter and like more understanding. Was like it's not your fault. You didn't know he's a dick like he does that like he's done this before oh. horror story it was literally i was like oh my god and no. if that was on me for i just gave this random guy a chance and you just never know what you're gonna get some are gonna be great some are gonna be bad really terrible. bad terrible so no yeah. i hate that fucking guy i know isn't that crazy that is actually insane. do you remember that but she's a girl's girl yeah she's I a girl's girl she's and a girl's i remember being girl. so scared i was like please don't hate me i'm sorry i literally had no idea and she would like could not have been nicer and was just such a Ugh. she was she she was amazing. I, I guess she found out because like she looked at his Instagram and saw he had like followed me. It was kind of like, who oh. is this? And he like made up some stupid excuse. Like, oh, oh she's no one. She's whatever. No. I was just so fucked. I was like.
like, like, I don't deserve that. She definitely doesn't. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, and that's also, like a for real. Not even the emotional type, but like health wise, what the fuck with this man? No, literally. That's he, so fucked up. He does not care, clearly. No, that's so fucked up. Did I tell you about the short king? Oh my God, okay, tell me about the short king. Is this your horror story? Yes, this okay. is my horror story. Segway. You guys, I fucking matched with this guy on, I think it was on Hinge and his profile sex, he was six foot two. I'm five foot eight for reference. And we were supposed to meet up at this place in Beverly Hills and I came out of editing and I, I just forgot about the dress code and I had one of my fucking normal tank tops mm -hmm. that have like no sleeves. I was like five minutes late. So I get there and they're like, sorry, there's a dress code. You can't get in. And I'm like, fuck. So I text him and I'm like, hey, I totally forgot about the fucking dress code. Can we go somewhere else? Mm -hmm. And he's like, my family owns this place. I'm gonna let you in. He comes out the second he should. steps out. out of that fucking place I notice his height he is like here to me he said he was six foot two I'm five foot eight I'm like you don't think meeting you was gonna make me realize you're lying about your fucking height are you fucking insane I don't get why people like I there's such a weird height bias like yeah. I get it but also like it's so pointless to lie especially if you're gonna go meet up with people yes person. people are gonna know you're not the height you're lying no. and saying you are and also he was cute if he hadn't lied I probably would have still been on a date with him yeah but, but it, it was immediately out. turned off yeah, yeah I was you like, like why oh, is he you lying lied yeah. straight up literally ew literally and then ah! He starts fighting with the fucking bouncer or guard or whatever the fuck his name is. And the guy was doing nothing wrong. He was so nice. He was like, I have a dress code. And this guy comes out not only to argue, but fucking plastered. Five minutes late and he's already plastered, like so drunk. Like, you need to let him in. And I own this place. The guard is like, I don't give a fuck if you own this place. I'll kick you out too. Stop arguing with me. Period. And he's like, well, let's go to another place. Since he's fucking plastered, I'm thinking, let's go somewhere around where we are. Yeah. And walk there. And he's like, no, let's get on my car and go. And I'm like, no, you're plastered. And he's like, oh, okay. Oh, I have a Tesla. I can drive itself. And I'm like, still no. Ew. Ew. <laughs> he no. starts trying to make out with me while we're walking. So I'm like, dude, I don't even know you. I like push him. Not push him, but like, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I don't know you. And he's like, oh, okay. He gets distracted with his phone and literally full on for like eight minutes on his phone. And so I got fed up and I was like, okay, bye, I left. And then I start getting call after call after call. Guess how many fucking times this man called me? How many times? 58 times. And I remember the exact number, 58 fucking times. Then he texts me and he's like, why'd you leave? And I was like, because this was awful. You lied about your height. You tried to fucking make out with me and I don't even know you. You're plastered out of your mind. You tried to drive plastered out of your mind. You fought with a bouncer in a restaurant you don't even probably own. You're fucking lying For about sure it too. Not. That's insane. He called you that many times I on that night? Yes, and then I experienced what you girls experience with a straight man. He's like, ugh, you're disgusting. I didn't even want you anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I literally just laughed. Wait, I'll put up the screenshot of the text messages here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> literally. Oh, shit. But he started you're texting me a lot. And I, was, and I was like, what the fuck? And then after he said that I'm gross and he didn't even want to do anything with me anyways, he goes, come cuddle, please. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what the fuck? This is a mess. This is a <laughs> mess. What are you on? And the next morning he texts me and he's like, hey, I'm totally sorry about yesterday. I was frustrated with someone else. I shouldn't have taken it out on you. But I was already like, like I don't believe a word you know. And then he goes, I was already five martinis in. <laughs> Bitch, I was five minutes late and he was five martinis in. Hello. Oh my God. Hello, Lori. No, insane. But that was probably that's the worst horrific. experience that's crazy. I've had in a life. That's saying a lot, because that's worse than grinder, and like that's I, that's literally my worst experience I've ever ever fucking had. When did this? When was this? A while this ago. This was not that long ago, actually. That was like three ish months like, ago. <laughs> last <laughs> like, week. Last week. Yes, last night. Last, actually. last night, actually. <laughs> <laughs> like the amount of guys who like will be so like, you, like oh, I'm so into you, whatever, and then. If for whatever reason you reject them, it's not working out. They will go so quick and switch up so fast and be like, I never want to see you again. We're never gonna. I'm gonna drag you down. I'm gonna drag you down. But they literally like told you like, oh, I, I want you in my life. Like all that. It's just like people don't switch up like that. Like, Actually, that's the one thing I have an issue with when it comes to dating. Because there's some people that I genuinely like their vibe, but yeah. the minute I don't see a future like romantically, I I try to be very straight up and I'm like, hey, I don't see us going that way. 
way, but if you still want to be friends, I'm still down. But everyone switches up so fast, and they're like, no, you should die for now. Yeah, you should go fucking jump on my glen. Literally. Like, and then it's so funny because in the, I've only experienced that, like, I've experienced that a lot, and it's funny because I feel like those guys usually end up, like, coming back. Yeah, no, all the like, time. Like, you'll be like, fine, okay. Like, we don't, I guess we don't have to be friends. Yeah. That's not what I want, but okay. And then, like, you won't hear from them for, like, a month or two or whatever, and then all of a sudden they'll be like, Hey, you in LA? <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> or whatever. And they, the funny thing is that they always act as if, like, nothing happened, as if they didn't tell you to fucking die and burn in hell. They're like, hey, so what's been up with you? Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello. I know. Because sometimes you do match, like, vibes, but just not romantically. Not everyone's supposed to be your fucking boyfriend. Yeah. The fuck? Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> you may want everyone to be, but they're not. <laughs> anyway. I also That's had so this funny. guy once fucking tweet about me. <laughs> no, I didn't even know he was tweeting about me the whole time we were like talking. Everyone has different meanings for dating and to me I'm not dating you unless we're exclusive. Like we're hanging out, we're like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Otherwise I'm literally dating 28 people at the same time. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. This guy, I guess, thought we were boyfriends. He was tweeting about it and like, and he acted as if I broke up with him like from a two year fucking relationship. Mind you, we were hanging out for like a month. And I was like, oh I've my god. That. I was like, dude, you need to fucking relax up in this hoe. What god. the fuck? And then I just unfollowed him everywhere. This is what happens to sneaky backstabbers. When I broke up with him, he was nice to me in person. Oh, that's the thing. I noticed he was tweeting about me after I called things off with him. And so to me, he was always so nice and understanding. And then I saw his Twitter. And on Twitter, he was like, you fucking rat. <laughs> You're literally fucking out there, people. And I was like, oh my god. So I texted him. I was like, hey, I saw your tweets what the fuck and he was like oh i'm so sorry i totally understand if that's so stressful for you and you don't want to talk to me ever again yeah i just didn't like the vibes anymore so i just unfollowed him ever. that's so funny how he switches up he like switched, that literally i was like in person you're so it was like a whole different human being yeah you're like where is this coming from? <laughs> where the fuck, the fuck did this come from <laughs> oh no leo i will I'll always love you so much <laughs> Fucking little rat, fucking little whore. Fucking little slut. No, literally. That's crazy. He wanted you out. But I do understand because rejection is hard. Yeah. But like. It takes maturity to like, you did this and this and this, but also I did this. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Yeah. And, like, and people will be so quick to blame the world and blame everyone else for their problems, but they will never look inward. Yeah. And, like, for hold example, a mirror up. Just cut it to us. Like, my channel's like. <laughs> 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 okay, I think that was it, you guys, because Grace and I want to listen to fucking music. Yeah. But thank you so much for tuning in. We love you so much, you guys. Oh, wait, let's post out like 30 seconds for thumbnail. Okay. Do, do. You're going to play the music. Do, 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 do. Spooky nails. <laughs> love you, bitches. Love you. Wait, you turn it off, actually. Oh, wait, how do I it's do it? It's uh, <laughs> down there, the button that it's red. <laughs> wait. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Bye guys! Wait, 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 wait. I think. Bye guys!